Stephen Whiteman, Managing Director, Caledonian Building Systems. I think the key issue, I spoke to Darren about it, and initially he said, could we present a project? Um, but then we had a chat and we said, well, what about doing some myth busting? There's a lot of myths and, and rumours and things associated with, with off-site construction, and modular volumetric construction particularly. And I felt it would be useful to try and attack some of those. And interestingly, a number of them have been reinforced in the morning session. So it's going to be an interesting session to see what the response is. So we decided to approach it on that way, to look at what people say about modular construction, what their assumptions are, and to sort of tackle those issues and try and get to the bottom of whether, they're, whether there's some truth in them or there isn't. And what do you think were the main myths that you attacked then? Well, I think some of them are the, the sort of normal assumptions, such as it's going to be a temporary building. People assume that they associate modular construction with temporary units, temporary classrooms, temporary site cabins. People assume it's going to be cold or drafty or hot in the summer. They assume it's going to look like a temporary building. Um, they also assume that it's going to probably be not last for a very long time. So they're all assumptions based on experience. People base their, their views on their experiences. And most people's experience of modular construction is classrooms in schools, be they a parent, a child, a governor or a teacher. So lots of lively debate around the issues. What kind of things did you take away from today? Um, well, I think the morning session was quite interesting. Some of the questions and things that have been raised are actually going around the same houses again. We're talking about prime contracting, we're talking about value versus cost, we're talking about people re-engineering the wheel. Um, I think a lot of those have been here before and Darren made the point that we visited them last time we were in this situation. And I think that's very true. We've got to be careful that we don't do it again. Um, however, I think there's a different alignment this time. And the industry's matured. The big thing is the industry has come to a point where it actually feels like saying, you know what, that doesn't work. We're not going to do that because it's not the right solution. Whereas I think perhaps 10 years ago, the industry was, well, we better do that because that's what clients want. So I think there's a maturity risen about the industry, which has changed things a little bit. But uh, I think it was a very interesting session. Uh, I found it really, really thought provoking. I've actually added a couple of comments into my presentation this afternoon just to see what sort of reactions they provoke. And what would you say to anyone who says, oh, it's a day out, I can't afford the time. Explore off site, shall I, shan't I? I think it's, it's always worth trying to take the time out to do these things because it's not just about what you might learn from the people in the room, but it's also the chance to network with one or two people, have some conversations. You know, I've bumped into a few people I've not seen in a little while that I probably could have done with getting together with. So I think it's always a useful time and occasionally you have to make the time.